hi guys welcome back to my channel first of all i owe my subscribers an apology i know i have been gone for a total of 12 weeks um if you count back from my weekly uploads a lot has been going on as per usual what is new just life and i don't know it's everyday happenings i'm really sorry i have been gone for so long i try to be consistent but sometimes things happen and it's out of your control i'm sorry um first of all looking rusty we're just going to be straightening our hair um because it's not enough for your makeup to slay your hair has to also slay so straightening my hair with this remington flat iron i'm just going to do that and get that out the way and i hope you still stick with me you do i hope you do you do okay <laughs> First of all, I'm going to be starting off with my brows and I always do the same routine. Nothing has changed. I have a whole video on that if you would like to see, which I will link up in the cards up above. And yeah, just same old thing. I use my concealer as my eye base. Next, I'm going to just be... Yep. Mm -hmm. I Sometimes I get lost in my train of thought. I'm just going to be setting my eyelids and using those two colors in my crease the basic two colors i always use from my anastasia beverly hills palette and i'm going to use that in the crease to deepen up the crease next i am going to be cleaning up my lid to apply the lid color the lid shade and from the title you see this is a green smoky eye so we're going to be using a very juicy green lid shade so in order to make it stand out more you need to cut out the crease clean it up so that your color stands out more using that shade from coastal scents i'm going to be applying that using a brush which i have sprayed with some fix plus to make the color stand out a bit more and um yeah so just do that along with me and usually sometimes i go back with my hand as you see me doing to make the color appear more vibrant and also for better placement next going into this black shade from my maybelline palette i'm just going to smoke out the outer corner of my eyelid and give it a more smoky effect as you see me doing there just smoking out the outer corners of the eyelid how is everyone's 2019 going i hope good i hope your goals are coming to fruition hope you're getting that money getting that degree etc hold on for me so where was i before i was rudely interrupted yeah next i'm just applying this custom cover effects custom glitter drops on my eyelids so further make the eyelid pop color pop and glitter more in person it looks better but because um you know lights are all bright on me it's not that effective but you could do something similar and you would see the effect next going into this um thing this is a primer it's kind of like a glow face glow kind of primer thing yes exactly um i'm going to be using that and using my favorite foundation that at this point i have to freaking scrape to get out the bottle because i like it and i use it so much i'm just going to be dotting that all over my face and proceeding to blend that all out with my beauty blender of course and i also go ahead to spray my beauty blender with some fix plus because it makes it melt more into the skin and gives it a more skin like appearance and i did not edit this part because i wanted to show you how it how i blend my face it doesn't take me that long but i make sure i go over it i blend dab 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 See, make sure my neck and my face is all blended out there's no demarcation i blend go around blend 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 make sure there's no patches because you never want your foundation to look like like patchy because when you take that flash test that flash photography you'll be exposed and you do not want that so just blend 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 make sure everything is seamless make sure everything is smooth and yeah I still go over it, go over it, make sure I'm doing a good job. 
next on to my highlighter using my LA Girl Pro highlighter in the shade fun I believe I'm just going to apply that on all the parts of my face that I would like to enhance the light like the under of my eyes my chin sorry my chin my forehead my nose the bridge of my nose my chin and as you will see me doing next I further go on to reverse contour reverse contouring means just enhancing where you are going to contour okay let me not sound dumb right now when you want to contour a place it's all about light and shade right so you want to use the light to enhance the dark so that's why I reverse contour because when I go back to contour the light enhances or makes the dark stand out if that makes any sense whatsoever yes just going back in to blend that all out and again you have to go over it make sure you're doing a good job be all up in the mirror like I am blend 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 make sure it looks seamless dab as much as you can trial and error is key and just blend 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 and I alternate between the pointy side of the blender and the bottom side because you don't you want to just kind of see like am I doing a good job will I get a better blender using this side or that side and when I blend my reverse contour, I, I blend it downwards and I also go over the line to kind of diffuse it because I don't want it to be too, too, too harsh. Next, blend my chin and I'm besetting with the JCAT Luxury Pro Banana Powder. It's actually really good, um, somewhat of a new buy for me and um, I really like it. To be honest, I filmed many videos, maybe not many, maybe a couple, in the 12 weeks I was gone, I filmed, filmed a couple of videos, but because of how busy I was, I wasn't able to sit down, edit, and give it my best. So, you know, sometimes you are your biggest critic, and that was one of the reasons that stopped me from uploading them. And now that I have a little bit more free time, I'm hopefully back. Next, going into my MAC powder, I'm just going to dot all the parts of my face I did not set with the banana powder. And next, going back into that same powder, I will dust off the banana powder and blend the rest of the face in so it looks seamless, smooth. Next, I'll be using black radiance powder again to go over my face. And this is just also to blend everything once again together. And I usually go back to touch up my brows because once I'm done with my powdering and stuff, my brows get lost in the crossfire and I have to touch it back up. So that is why I usually go back to my brows when I am done with the powdering and stuff. Next, just contouring or bronzing rather. And I use a Coastal Scents um, eyeshadow pot in the name Chocolatier. I've showed it on my channel a couple times before. Covergirl bronzer in ebony bronze is another really good buy for someone who has a similar skin tone as me. I'll also be using that to chisel out my nose and give it some more definition. And I also go over and blend it um, because I don't want the harsh lines. I also go back with my face powder and blend it some more. Going into this orange shade from this eyeshadow palette from BH Cosmetics, I'll be using that as my blush. And this is where we are at right now. What's next? What's next? Oh yes, I'll be smoking out my lower lash line with the same color I used on the lid. And also intensifying some of that black in the outer corner. Just, you know, make the eye more smoky. And I'm going to be lining my waterline with black Kajal pencil. A random Kajal pencil that I got back from Nigeria. And next, I am going to be applying some mascara to my top and my bottom lashes. Coat them, give them a good coat before I go in with my falsies using Red Cherry Lashes in the number 116. Next, lining my lips, I will be using this brown liner. And I did a little bit of overlining today, just a tad bit. I already have big lips or fuller lips should I say so I just didn't do too much but I wanted to get some of that overlining effect 
and I went in with my MAC lipstick in A photo I believe and I also topped it off with some of this LA girl lipstick and just dab that in and because I wanted it to be a little more glossy I went in with this elf lip gloss and applied that as well and that's a lip combo now the lashes are ready and I applied those as well and the look is coming all together if you're doing your makeup along with me I hope your look is also coming together at this particular point in time looking juicy we're looking saucy but we're not quite done next using my favorite favorite highlighter at the moment the jcat you glow girl highlighter and um, I'm going to be using that to highlight my cheeks my nose my cupid's bow my eyebrows and you know when you just put on highlighter the world just seems like a such a better place you know like it starts to glow it starts to beam I mean like that is key right to every look and just be highlighting the top of my brows even the inner tear duct of my eyes and also my cupid's bow as I mentioned earlier and I usually go back and blend that in because I don't want it to look like it's just one streak of shimmer on your face you want it to blend in Last but not least, resetting my face with the NYX setting spray. I'm brushing out my hair and that is the look. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time, much love. Bye.